to A Better World. This is your host, Mitchell J. Rabin, and I'm very glad you're joining us again today. Today we're going to have another very interesting show. We have with us, fresh from London, the author of this book, How to Find God in Everything, Amodama Jivan. We had Amoda on the radio show quite recently, and since she arrived from London, we wanted to invite her onto the show as well. TV show to talk about her book again in further depth and come to understand this very fundamental, beautiful, and true idea from my point of view of finding God in everything and what that means and what the implications are of that for someone who wants to live a life, you could say, chock full of meaning. So uh, we're very glad to have Amoda on today with us here in New York and to talk about this very vital subject in a world that's otherwise in turmoil, in crisis, and having an anchor such as Emoto offers here in this work can help to ground us in a way that we have a mooring while life here on planet Earth is going through some major metamorphosis. So, welcome to the show. Thank you, Mr. Good Mickey. to have you. Thank you. A pleasure. Absolutely. <laughs> so, it's not London town, but it's uh, another it's interesting. It's the Big <laughs> Apple, <laughs> exactly. So, tell me, what kind of guides should we be looking for during this time, as I was describing, of turmoil from your point of view? To me, there are two principles. Mm -hmm. um, you can call them two guides. Um, I call them t the two golden keys. And these two golden keys are kind of the core message in my book um, and were given to me or revealed to me in, in the vision that forms the crux of the book, um, the, the theme of the book. And uh, the, the two golden keys are presence and openness. So um, presence, it sounds very simple, but they're actually very profound inner yeah changes or inequalities that we can bring to every aspect of our lives and presence is the ability to be absolutely anchored in now in the eternal now not just in our meditation practice but in every mm -hmm. moment of our lives as it reveals itself to us as it unfolds within our own experience and that can be painful that can be challenging that can be difficult it's where we want to retract it's where we want to turn away it's where we want to put up a wall of defense it's where we want to blame it's where we want to judge now instead of doing that what happens if we just absolutely stay fully present without judgment we die without blame we die <laughs> well, we die to our ego self yes. and we are reborn